guys and welcome back to another video this is going to be a what i eat in a week video because it's very hard for me to figure out what to make for myself while my children are gone um, a lot of you may or may not know my kids are with their dad for the summer so now i'm having to kind of die down when i cook and cook for one person but I also meal prep for them in spite of. So I have some meals that I'll make big meals and I put them to freezing meals. But then on most of the hand for the summer, I make meals for myself. So this is just gonna show you some of the things that I like to eat within a week and how I prep those meals for myself during the week, also having a busy schedule. So first off, I do eat salads in the morning sometimes. That's what I want, that's what I crave. So I'll eat a salad with um, a fresh cup of coffee and on this day I decided to have a salad I added some um, tortilla strips to it with my cucumbers I didn't have any red onions at the time and then I also added some bacon bits and some croutons and I was going to add the Olive Garden Italian dressing but I switched last minute to ranch dressing Spending the days on my own Then repeats this For weeks to come I don't care what I miss Cause my life is dismissed I keep searching For my bliss It took days to finally start writing songs Now this is my prep morning Right now I'm getting my lemons and my limes in a water vinegar solution to kind of clean off any bacteria or anything on them. I use warm water and distilled vinegar and I let them soak in that for about 5 to 10 minutes. While I'm doing that I'm preparing my granola and I'm getting that ready for the week. We ran out and I didn't get a chance to make any before my daughter left but I wanted to go ahead and get that made. I've already shown you how I make my granola and I'll post a link down below of that video so you can go to that and look at it now I do prep mornings because I still try to keep what I want to eat in a month and what I want to eat in a week so that we're not going too far over budget and I'm not just going out to eat all the time and being unhealthy because your girl needs to lose a little weight I'm just being honest with my life and honest with myself okay <laughs> now all I'm doing now is making a lemon concentrate so it's a lemonade concentrate I had an idea about what I want to do and how to do it because I can't have water enhancers and a lot of things that have aspartame in it like the crystal light. So what I did was I saw a recipe by Peaceful Cuisine and I used that. I'll, link, I'll put his link down below because this is where I got the idea from and this is what I got. This is the recipe I'm going by. I'm adding lemon and instead of beet sugar like he used, I used coconut sugar. I added my water to that and I let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes and then after that I let it cool down. So also on this morning I'll be prepping my meats. One of the things that I'm prepping is my chicken. I have a couple of different meals I'm going to make with that. And all I'm seasoning it with is my basic seasoning, which includes the Thai seasoning, the garlic powder, seasoned salt, Italian seasoning, and black pepper. And that's it. Just my staples for this. Why? Because I'm going to be using it for a couple of different things. The first thing I'm going to do is put the pieces that I need after I mix it in together real good. Put the pieces that I need into my pressure cooker and I'm going to go ahead and let that cook because one of the meals I'm going to have for today and the leftover I'm going to put into a Ziploc bag and save it for when I'm going to cook it later on this week. Now that my lemonade has cooled, I'm going to go ahead and transfer it to a mason jar and then after I'm done with that, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator to chill so that it's cold and ready for when I'm ready to drink it.
Now that I'm done with my lemonade, I'm going to go ahead and season up my flank steaks. And like I said, I'm going to be cooking these later in the week also, but I'm going to go ahead and get them seasoned and let them marinate real good for what I'm going to use them for. Now I'm doing the flank steaks and in this, I'm actually going to be kind of doing a mix between the fajita seasoning and some more stuff because I have no good sense and I like to try different things and it turned out great. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to be adding to this some olive oil. I'm going to add quite a bit of of olive oil so it you know adds in there i'm going to be adding some lime zest two lime zest two lime juices of both the limes also i'm going to be adding some um jamaican jerk seasoning i'm going to add some thai hen seasoning seasoned salt uh my garlic minced garlic not garlic powder but minced garlic cilantro dry cilantro and then I'm also going to add some cumin and some chili powder to this. And I'm going to mix it in the bag really well so that it can sit and all the flavors can just absorb into the meat. Try to solve it, solve it, yeah Me and you, what we do It stays between me and you Me and you, what we do Now after I've gotten done getting everything ready for the week and for the day I'm done with my granola. I took it out earlier and I let it cool and now I'm adding my chocolate chips to it. And these are mini chocolate chips, you guys. Don't add the big ones, they will hurt your teeth and you're not gonna like it, trust me. Now, for the first thing this morning, what I'm gonna make me is actually a strawberry parfait. I've made this before on my channel, so I'm just gonna kinda go through it quickly. And I just use different glasses to put my parfait in, make it look pretty. I like for my dishes to look more edible to me pleasing to my eye that makes me want to keep eating and I want it okay so this is why I put it in the glass dish because sometimes you just want to have a nice fancy little breakfast my friends knew undercover love and they would try to solve it solve it yeah you what we do it stays between me and you time for lunch and what I'm making me for lunch and this is also going to be my dinner for this night I'm actually going to make me a chicken salad I do my chicken salad the basic of the basic I love to chop up my celery and my onions I chop them up my celery I do a little more chunky my onions I do very fine because I'm not the biggest fan of raw onions 
I love the flavor and the taste it gives, but they're not my favorite thing. So I do them up and then I also add them to my bowl and then the chicken that I had in my pressure cooker by this time has depressurized in there by itself and has cooled and I'm able to go ahead and chop that up and shred it for my chicken salad. As you can see, I didn't add all my onions. I just added a little bit of what I had because I didn't want it to be too oniony, oniony in taste. Now, I don't use mayo, I use Miracle Whip. I'm not a big mayo fan. I use Miracle Whip, I add my mustard. I also add sugar, paprika, and garlic powder, and a little bit of seasoned salt to this with black pepper. And that's all I do to make my chicken salad. I'm not a big fan of fruit in my food. Um, I just it's a texture thing for me so I don't add grapes or anything like that but you're more than welcome to if you like it I eat my chicken salad mainly with crackers I don't necessarily like it on the bread or croissant but I will but my favorite way to eat it is with crackers so I'll eat this for lunch a snack and dinner because I made so much to go throughout the week for when I want to kind of switch out on my meals Oh, and by this time the lemonade has chilled so this is how I make the lemonade I only add a little bit and I add more water to it this was me tasting it for the first time and testing it out and you guys it was really good it was a way to get my lemon in there with it being with just a hint of sweetness and helps me to drink my water now every other time that I've done this I've diluted it quite a bit so I still have that lemon flavor now this is what I had for breakfast and lunch on another night. This is a breaded crusted chicken. And the breaded crusted chicken, all I did was those chicken breasts that you saw me have left over. I pounded those out and made them really thin and flat. I seasoned my chicken before time because I still wanted that seasoning in there. But I also seasoned my flour with a little bit of garlic, Italian seasoning, and Thaihan seasoning. So I go from my egg wash to my flour, back to my egg wash, and to my breadcrumbs. I use grapeseed oil to fry this, and you're gonna see how beautifully it turned out, and it really did good. You guys, this was so good. I can't tell you how much I love this recipe, but hold on, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with it in just a minute. Fly on, fly on, fly on, fly on. Now you've seen me make honey mustard before and all I use is apple cider vinegar, yellow mustard, grain mustard, and honey and garlic powder and that's it. I mix it into the consistency that I want, also to the flavor that I like. I like mine with that sweetness. I like to taste the honey in my honey mustard and that's it. Now when I remove my chicken, I put it on a rack so it drains off. I kind of stopped getting away from putting it on paper towels because I like the way this drains better and it keeps it from getting soggy on one side. I put it in the oven to warm while I get everything else ready. So today I'm going to be making me a wrap. So I'm cutting up my onions and my my onions and my cucumbers. I have a this is actually a hummus pepper red pepper wrap, and I'm just going to add my salad mix down, my red onions, and my um, chicken strips down. I didn't get a chance to film me cutting the chicken, so I do apologize. And then I'm going to add my honey mustard on top. I also have it on the side to dip my sandwich in. So big up, big up. You guys, if you never had a wrap like this, I encourage you to try it. I didn't mean sandwich, I meant wrap. Now on this night, yesterday, this day, I also ate my chicken salad and everything like that. And I also used that breaded chicken on a salad too. So I do that and I didn't get a chance to record that. But on this night, I made me some seasoned rice. And all I add is Thaihen seasoning, cumin, Italian seasoning, and garlic powder. And I add that and I add my water and I put it in my rice cooker. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cook up my steaks. 
I used avocado oil and I had that heating up while I was getting everything prepared for my uh, rice and I'm going to lay my steaks in and I'm going to get those cooked on both sides and then I'm going to clean my pan and serum on both sides. So pick up, pick up your All the things I will say just to make it up to you but you're gone now I'm here all alone and I really wish you just pick up the reason I do this is because I did not cook them on the grill which will drain the juice off so the juice was holding on in the pan but I like them to be nice and seared as you see I'm gonna also get my avocado ready this was a beautiful avocado you see how green and pretty it is on the inside oh my god it was so good anyway okay let me get back let me get back I put my avocado into a bowl and I like to add salt and pepper to that and sometimes I'll add a lemon juice but sometimes I won't because I may add the lemon the lime juice I'm sorry the lime juice on top of my food I'm cutting up my limes and I'm getting those ready and then I'm gonna go ahead and chop up my steak as you can see I like my steak medium rare I do I love it that way my mom was with me on, on this night so I cooked her as well done so I have half of it medium rare and half of the other steak well done so on this night I have a huge thing of salad mix that I bought that I use inside my wraps and to make salads throughout the week because I love salads and I think salads are life and I like to eat them eat them even for a snack I'm just that kind of weird so I had my salad I had my rice and I had my steak and I added my avocado on top with some limes with the salt and pepper and then I added a little bit of ranch dressing on top of that and that's what I had on this night so like I said, I normally sometimes don't eat breakfast every morning, but if I do, I have certain things that I like to eat and I like to eat kind of light. I'm not a big breakfast person. So on this day, I just had watermelon and it was so sweet and good. That's my favorite food. I'll eat it the whole summer with some coffee and that's it. Now this was lunch. For lunch, I took the steak that I had left over. I warmed it up. I had the heck of a time trying to get this seed out of this <laughs> avocado. It's embarrassing, but it would not come up. So I had my leftover avo avocado. I'm sorry. I'm laughing at myself. I had my leftover avo avocado. I smashed it just a little bit and added some salt, pepper, and lime to it because I'm doing just like a mini guac, not really. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my fajita wrap ready. I added, uh, I warmed up my rice and I added it to the bottom and then I'm going to go ahead and add my salad mix, my onions and everything on top with my steak. Left hand feels so heavy, anchored to your memory. So this was the steak wrap that we had for lunch with me and my mom and everything and she loved it she loved all the meals that I cooked because she got a chance to chase quite a bit of them but that is it for this video please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you to all of you guys that my new subscribers I truly appreciate it I hope you enjoy this kind of content seeing what I eat while my children are gone for one person and I hope everyone has a blessed and wonderful week all right bye